you stay no longer, no, you're not that I go with you. By your patience, no. My stars shine darkly over me. The malignancy of my fate might perhaps distemper yours. Therefore, I shall crave of you your leave that I may bear my evils alone. For a bad recompense for your love, so I have to on you. Let me know if you whip you about. No, sweet sir. My determined voyage is severe extravagancy. But I perceive you so excellent a touch of modesty that you will not extort from me what I am willing to keep in. Therefore, it charges me the rather manners to express myself. In the snow of the Antonio, my name is Sebastian. Paul Rodrigo. My father was that Sebastian of Messaline, whom I know you have heard of. I left behind him myself and his sister, both born in the day. If the heavens had been pleased when we had so ended. You, sir, altered that. For some hour before you took me from the region of the sea was my sister drowned. The last of the day. Lady, sir, though it was said she must have done with me. Yet by many accounts beautiful. And though I cannot so over far believe in that, I will thus far boldly, boldly publish her. She bore a mind that envy could not but call fair. She is drowned, sir, in salt water. But I seem to drown her remembrance again. Part of me, sir, you're bad at it. Oh, my good Antonio, forgive me your troubles. If you will not burn me for my love, let me be your servant. No, unless you will undo that which you have done, that is, kill him whom you have recovered, desire it not. Fairly well at once, my bosom is full of kindness, and I am yet so near the manners of my mother that upon these occasions more my eyes will tell tales of me. I am bound to Count Rosino's court. Farewell. The gentleness of all the gods go with thee. I have many enemies in Orsino's court. Else will I very shortly see thee there. But come, what may, I do adore thee so. The danger shall seem sporting. 